Hey everyone, Chris here, and in this video, I'm going to review hyperbolic stretching. You might have seen their ads on social media saying things like, you'll be able to do the full splits, or this is a four week challenge to the full splits, or something along those lines. I'm not sure of the exact wording. And you're probably thinking, well, that sounds amazing, but can I do that? Can this program actually deliver? Well, I've put up the money, I've put up the $37 or whatever it costs, so that I can go through the program and show you the results I got. I've seen a bunch of these review videos and most of them seem very positive and also seem to have affiliate links suggesting they're actually promoting the course and are maybe a bit biased. So this, there's no links to the course in here if you want to find out about it. You have to go Google it. It's a completely independent, unbiased review based on my experience and I've done videos at the start, videos after I've done the four week set and then I did the whole thing again just in case we're thinking okay but Chris you're maybe not as flexible as most people so maybe you need to do it for twice as long. Well I've done that just to prove what happens so let's go see. Okay, we're here on day one of uh, hyperbolic stretching, so I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, where I'm at at the start so we can compare where I am at the end. I'm just filming this on my iPhone. It actually looks way better than my expensive cameras. But uh, let me get one not that good when I blow it up. I suspect actually it might be pretty good. So. I'm just trying to the front, uh, yeah, front split, that's what it's called, isn't it? This one's way worse. So, a lot of progress potentially to be made here. Four weeks, I've uh, done everything, didn't skip a single session and we'll compare now where I can get to with the earlier video. So before I got to kind of between these two chairs, I think you maybe see them on camera. I'd say that's about as far as I got last time. Maybe gained, maybe gained an inch or two, but I mean, it's so hard to tell from the previous video. Let's see if I can go down any lower. Uh, I mean, yeah, might have gained an inch or two, but uh, I'm certainly not doing the full splits. Let's come out of this. And let's try that front split as well. Again, looking pretty similar. Oh, maybe a tiny bit further, but again, certainly haven't gone full splits here. Oh, so uh, not the magic we were hoping for. Another progress update for you all. So I've now done eight weeks of hyperbolic stretching just in case the four weeks wasn't enough. And even though it's a four week challenge, like I thought, okay, well, I'll keep going for double that length to see if I magically get more flexible. So I was about the width of here before. Let's look at where I can get to now. about the same as I was I think we could measure on the video but got one foot just past this chair the other's not quite bumping up against that chair oh, it's 
come out of that and then again I was roughly that on the front squat feeling good maybe I've made some gains here oh. So again, my feet are about that distance. Oh. So certainly not doing the full side splits or front splits after eight weeks of doing it. So the idea that you're magically gonna start doing it in four weeks doesn't seem to be the case. Have I gained a bit of distance? Maybe let's compare the videos, but based on the initial estimate, doesn't really look like I've gained much. Let's summarize what we've learned then. So comparing the two videos from the start to the end, it's clear that I have made some progress. If we look at how they compare, then it's hard to compare because I'm face on in the first one and I'm diagonal in the eight weeks one, but I have got my feet wider apart on both the side splits and the front splits. So there definitely is some progress there. I'll give the program that. However, I have done the four week challenge. I've done it twice and not doing the full splits. So it's certainly not gonna be some kind of magic pill that allows you, I think, to do the four splits. If you're miles off at the start, you're not gonna be there by the end. If you're pretty close at the start, then maybe you'll get there by the end. Um, but it's important to remember that I did it for two months. And if you did any stretching program for two months, you would expect some results by the end. And I got some results, so that was good. So I think it's fair to say that this is a, a reasonable stretching program in terms of it will produce some results. But if you look at the advertising, that tends to say it's a four weeks till full splits program. And I don't think that's true. I don't think you're going to be able to do the full splits after four weeks or even eight weeks. Maybe if you did the program for a year, it's possible, but progress isn't always linear. So sometimes you get a lot of the gains at the end and then they get harder to achieve. Same thing with like running faster or whatever. Um, so it's possible that if I did it for like an entire year, I could do the full splits, or it's possible that most of the gains I got were beginner gains. Uh, but I did make some progress, but doesn't really live up to the hype of their advertising, but just produce something. So that's my feelings. Hopefully that was useful for you. If so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.